So in this video, uh, we are going to discuss about the latest exploit of a uh, Cisco, which is the 2020-3452 CVE ID, which has been assigned. So basically, this whole exploit is an arbitrary file read exploit, even though if you are authenticated or unauthenticated, which basically means any attacker sitting at any place who does not need to be authenticated with that particular VPN server can read the files from the server. So we are going to discuss about what is CVE 2020-3452. Then we are going to exploit some of the targets using Shodan. Then we are going to exploit some targets from subdomain enumeration. Then we are going to see more arbitrary file read entry points, which will give us more win. Then we are going to see the Nmap NSE detection. Then finally, automation to do whole the to do mass hunting by automating the whole process. Then a final words on this particular vulnerability. And in case you have any questions, then you can post questions into the Q&A section. All right. So what is a CVE 2020-3452? So according to a advisory which was released by Cisco. So Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance Software, also called as Cisco ASA and Firepower Threat Defense Software, which is FTD, Web Service Read Only Path Traversal Vulnerability exists, which has been assigned this CVE ID. As you can see over here, the CVSS score, which has been assigned is base score of 7.5, which is again a high critical high type of vulnerability. It is not critical until and unless it is more than 9.5. All right. So still the vulnerability is high because any attacker can read any arbitrary file from that particular server by simply sending a HTTP request. All right. So on nvd.nist.gov, you can see the base score is again the same 7.5 and you can see why the CVSS score is given this particular base score. All right. So now this particular researcher who goes by the name Ahmed has released the first POC wherein in the POC, as you can see, if you craft a special HTTP request and you send it to the particular server and you try to read the particular file, as you can see over here, the file which has been tried to read is portalinc.lua. So if you're trying to read this particular file, then you can see the output over here and we are able to read the particular file, which was a portal inc.lua, which is one of the configuration file for the server. Now, this started getting exploited in the wild and many people started to send this particular vulnerability. As you can see, I have a screenshot wherein this particular researcher was able to send the particular vulnerability that was CV 2023452 20, and the report was a triaged and you can see the severity is high. All right. So now as we have understood what is this particular vulnerability, let's exploit some targets using Shodan. So for that, you can just go on to Shodan and you can just search for CSCOE. After you search this, you can see we have got 104 results. So from these results, you can take each target one by one and try to send the same HTTP request as can be seen over here. This particular request and after you send this particular request, which says that we want to read the portal inc.loa file and then we will be able to confirm if we are able to read that particular file. So what we can do is instead of taking one by one each target, we can simply automate the whole process. So for that, as you can see over here, I have uh, written the script which you can utilize. So over here you can see Shodan search Cisco ASA. So if you search for Cisco ASA, let me show you how many targets do you get. 
so it is loading and you can see we have got 31 targets only so instead of cisco asa you can search for the particular other query which was plus cscoe and you will get more results now what you can do simply is run this particular script which will search for the cisco asa servers and also you can replace your search query by cscoe and uh, when we will get the output output from that output we are going to separate the ip address and we are going to send that particular ip address to the curl request which is nothing but we are trying to read the same file so because of this while loop each and every ip from that particular search result is going to get submitted to the curl request all right so let's run this so i will hit enter and you will be able to see in a couple of seconds this will start and if any target is vulnerable we will be able to identify as you can see into over here curl curl request has been sent to this particular target which has been enumerated from shodan and it is trying to send that particular request to that particular target in case the target is vulnerable we will be able to see the output over here so what i'm going to do currently is i'm going to stop this scan as it will take a lot of time so you guys can try this okay now what is the other way you can do this because shodan has limited number of targets as you can see over here 104 targets now in case you want to search the same vulnerability or the same exploit for other targets how can you do that the simple way is to do subdomain enumeration so now we are going to do exploit some more targets from subdomain enumeration for that you can just simply jump on to this particular project which is hosted by project discovery team it is very awesome and you will directly get all the subdomain enumeration list over here of all the bug bounty programs which pairs rewards or without rewards as well so as you can see over here if i will click on all then you can see this all all programs are listed over, over here uh, these programs are on hacker one the other programs are on bug crowd as you can see over here which is being demonstrated by the bug crowd symbol and hacker one symbol okay so now if you will click on new programs you will be able to see any new programs if it is added on that particular target new subdomains you can see if new subdomains are being deployed by any of these targets so you can see AT&T and Amazon has deployed huge number of subdomains so you can start hunting on those targets as well if you specifically want to hunt on programs for hacker one or bug crowd you can also do that if you want the programs which gives rewards you can just go to with rewards and you will be able to see these programs which gives you rewards so what i have done is i'm going to hunt on the target which is bentley okay so i will just click on this particular cloud button as you can see over here and it is going to download a zip file which will contain 2263 subdomains as you can see over here so i have all the subdomains of bentley let me just zoom this for you and from this i can try on each and every target the particular script and any of the target if it is running on the cisco asa vpn server then i will be able to do a arbitrary file read all right so now you can choose any target from here as well and the script to do this is over here so i have tried on all the programs or all the subdomains of microsoft i had i have reported a maximum of of them what you can do is for your demonstration i'm going to show you on this particular target list so as you can see i have also uh, found and reported for bentley infosys microsoft and uh, tata so let me just show you for demonstration targets.json contains my target so let me just show you let me just cat the file and you can see these are all the subdomains for tata and out of these some of the subdomains are vulnerable which i have taken into this particular file which is vulnerable target so let me just show you vulnerable target just dot json and you can see these are the two vulnerable targets 
So now I can just simply run the curl script to identify if they are vulnerable or not. So let us just do this quickly. So let me just copy this script. Let me paste it over here and you can see I want to cat this particular file which was vulnerable target. target.json okay so i will just hit enter and you can see it is reading that particular file and it is giving me the output so as you can see this is the output for the file that we are trying to read and the file that we are reading is the lua file which is the configuration file so yes as you are able to see all right so now you can see over here, uh, the file that we are able to read is the portal inc.lua and both the targets were vulnerable. So we are able to successfully read the particular file. So what you can do is you can just again replace the target name from here. You can save it, it, save it in txt format or json format, any format. And you can run this particular script which will try to do the arbitrary file read. Okay, uh, one of the way that I like is I like using find domain for the programs which are not listed over here on project discovery. To identify the subdomains for any particular target, I use find domain. So you can also use that. Simply go to the find domain GitHub repository and you need to clone that particular project. I have already cloned it and I have installed. So let me just show you find domain. So you can use find domain to find a lot of subdomains. So let us try to identify some subdomains. Find domain. Let's say our target is infosys.com. So we are going to identify the subdomains or let us choose another target. For instance, let's say Starbucks. Okay, so now I want to see which of the domains resolve and I want to save the output in starbucks.com.txt and I will hit enter. So this will start enumerating all the subdomains for a Starbucks and it will save to a file which is starbucks.com.txt and I can just take that particular list and I can give that subdomain list to this particular script and it will automatically identify and this way you can do mass hunting so i'm just going to stop this scan for those users who do not want to set up find domain into their computers or they do not want to run it from the terminal can also use a very very awesome resource which is nmmapper.com so you simply come over here and choose the find domain one the last and you can just give any target you want so let me just give the target which is starbucks.com and hit enter and it will just take some time and you can see we have identified 1645 domains so there are total 1645 domains which you can test for the same vulnerability you can just copy paste from here remove this host and save this into a txt file and simply give it to this particular script if any of the target is vulnerable you will be able to read that particular file all right so now i hope you understood how you can do subdomain enumeration and you can read the files now more arbitrary file read entry points equals to more win. So this particular researcher gave only one file to read which was the portal inc.lua. So after seeing this particular POC I was surprised that and I was excited to read more files from that particular server to increase the severity. So I brute forced uh, the sec list all the particular word list of json hadix all.txt or other sec list for lfi i also use the first db for brute forcing those files but i did not get success so after finding a lot of uh, queries which is basically the word list which contains all those words i was able to enumerate some of the entry points which works on the cisco asa 
so i'm giving this file entry points also i have tweeted into the same tweet over here which you can read someone interested can read this files from the server i have tested them so you can see the files which are http auth.html user dialog.html localization inc.lua so these are all the files which are being tested by me and they are working perfectly fine all right so you can also read this particular files which may give you more sensitive information so you can just uh, increase the severity as well all right so these are all the file entry points i'm going to give this entry points into the description into the resources so you can just refer that as well now nmap nec detection there is also a nmap script which you can utilize to detect if the targets are vulnerable so the nmap nec script is test cisco asa.nec you can simply use this particular script so let me use this script on vulnerable targets.json so i'm going to take the input list and my input list is vulnerable target.json and i'm going to run the script so script and the script name and let's say we do a service vision detection let's turn off the ping and let's see the output in verbose mode and hit enter and if the target is vulnerable then it is going to tell us the target is vulnerable with the cve 2020-3452 which is the cisco asa arbitrary file read all right until our scan is running let me just tell you the automation part so we have already seen the automation part wherein we can automate finding targets from shodan we can automate finding the targets from the subdomain list that you have identified i have reported all the targets for a microsoft bentley and other small targets for tcs and infosys as well all right so as you can see over here it will tell you the target is vulnerable to the read only a read only path traversal vulnerability and it also gives you the verify the arbitrary file read as you can see over here but you can see over here it is giving you the same portal inc.lua file which is given by the original researcher but i am giving you more and more files to read so you can read these many files as well this has not been posted anywhere by any researcher so i think i'm the first one to post these files which you can also read from that particular target server all right so i hope you guys understood how you can also use the nmap script you, I have shown you the automation for Shodan as well as a subdomain enumeration. Now my final words for this is if you want to prove this particular vulnerability for any target, you can do the mass hunting as well as I have shown you. But I, will, I would highly recommend to do not read much more sensitive files or do not download or dump any kinds of file just to prove you can read the simple lua file and you can tell them that there exists this particular vulnerability you can identify obviously using the nmap nec script it will tell you if the target is vulnerable and for the poc you can just try to read a simple non-sensitive file okay so you can just read the logo.gif or you can read ask html or ping html or any file which is not considered to be much more sensitive all right so in case you have any questions you can just submit your questions into the resources section or into uh, the q a and i would be happy to answer those questions regarding all the assets file entry points and all the scripts i'm going to give you everything i hope you guys understood the video and like the video thank you